Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. From this video, we will try to cover the concept of object-oriented programming language in X++. So this is the introduction video and in this video, we will show you how to create a class. So without wasting time, let's jump into the Visual Studio. So we are inside our Visual Studio and as you can see that we already created our project oops concept. And in this project, we will create a class. So how to create a class? You just have to right click on your project, then click add and directly you can click new item or you can just uh, click here also. So first we will click new item and then you have to go to the code and you have to select your class from here and then you have to give the name of your class. So based on the standard naming convention you have to give the name of your class so i am giving here my class name okay so for example purpose i am just giving this name but in a real world scenario based on your requirement you have to give the class name okay now you have to add the, it's this particular object so as you can see whenever you will click the add then this code will be added automatically in your class and here you can witness that there is a four word, different words internal final class and my class so first internal final and this class nothing but the standard keyword which is present in x plus plus programming language and this one this is the identifier here okay so if you will place one here before the name and if we'll save it it will throw some error and as you can see if we'll um, hover the mouse uh, beneath the one you can see that identified expected okay so if you'll type one here this is not the valid naming convention so first you have to give the correct name then if we'll save it and if your identifier will be correct one then only you can proceed otherwise you will get an error in your code okay so this is nothing but one identifier okay now we will explain this three different keyword that is internal final and the class so let's start the internal keyword in x++ programming language this is a access modifier and access modifier can be uh, public it can be private it can be protected but in this case when you will create a new class then by default you will get the internal keyword in your class and this is a access modifier which means that the class is accessible only within the same assembly where it is declared and an assembly in x++ programming language typically corresponds to a module or component within the application this access modifier restricts the access to the class to only the code within the same assembly it is more permissive than private uh, access modifier but more restrictive than public modifier private modifier means uh, which limits the access to only within the class but public access modifier uh, which allow access from anywhere and this internal access specifier what it will do this access modifier restricts the access to the class to only the code within the same assembly okay i hope the internal keyword uh, is clear for you so if you are not understanding the keyword public protected when we will discuss about the base class or the inheritance concept then this concept will be more clear but at this point of time whatever i have just said you just remember this or try to understand and if you want to take the note you can also take the note for your interview purpose now we'll move to the second keyword that is final in x plus plus programming language the final keyword is used to indicate that the class is not not intended to be subclassed or the extended facility if you write the final keyword before the class then 
inheritance is not possible for this particular class so if you inherit this particular class then don't use this final keyword before the class name okay so simply this final keyword used to indicate that the class is not intended not intended to be subclassed or extended it makes the class non inheritable meaning you cannot create subclass that is the drive class or new classes from this particular class okay and the final keyword helps to prevent further extension or the modifications of this particular classes behavior so when we will discuss about the inheritance it will be more easier for you to understand so if you are not understanding here this concept will be easier when you will understand the concept of inheritance in the later point okay now we will discuss about the third keyword that is class this class keyword is used to declare that you are defining a class okay and in x++ programming language a class is the blueprint for creating objects and it defines the structure and the behavior of the objects that are belong to the class or belong to the that particular class okay and after that the identifier my class name this is the name of the class in your code you have named the class my class name so you can change it to any name based on your requirement because this is the user defined name and remember that if one particular class name is already present in your application then it will throw an error that this particular name is already occupied or this class name is already exist you just have to rename it to create a particular object or the class if you want to create that class okay so if it is already exist you will not be able to give the same identifier you have to change it in practical application you would typically keep the class name more descriptive name that reflects its purpose or the functionality within your x++ application so i hope you understood the concept i hope now it's clear uh, this particular three keyword that what is the use of this internal final and the class but uh, this is not always mandatory you can delete this one internal okay also you can delete this one also to create a class and this is the basic skeleton of a class uh, if you want to create a class this is the uh, main thing over here you have to uh, keep the keyword class and then identifier so if you will not keep any other identifier or access modifier then also it will be fine but in the real world you should have to give the access modifier uh, for example you can use the public you can use the private and protected before your class okay in the next video we will explain um, how you can write the code inside this class so please continue watching the next video uh, to understand the class in more descriptive way so thanks for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next one